Welcome back to the MCG. So uh, both sides being forced to make changes here. Long coming in for Salmon. Patterson for Robren. Grenbold is playing for Essendon. Here's the opening bounce. Sticky conditions in the middle here at the MCG. A lot of rain overnight. Hence the ball is thrown up. Summerwell wins it. But it's going to be the Crows who go into attack down towards their half forward line. That was through Jamison, but only as far as Watson. Great to see him back. As he gives it off to Harvey. Playing at centre half back, Sandy. The other player we can't pick up for Essendon is Flood. McDermott down towards half forward. Bombers had a good win over the Crows in their only encounter last year. That match was played at Football Park. Watson overruns it. Denham comes in to assist him. Kicks well up towards centre wing and the mark taken by some of them. Interesting to see that Fletcher's picking up Modra to it, uh, full back. Somerville sending the Bombers up towards their half-forward line. Well, two pros flew. Rod Jamison is the man who comes down with the football. Watson in from the side. Got a hand to it. Thompson to Harvey. The pair combines nicely. Wide to the outer side. Hills has time on his side. Finds O'Donnell on the defensive side of centre wing. Gary O'Donnell, a great player for the Bombers, week in, week out. Kicks towards centre half forward. Marking contest, and it's done well by Alessio. Second grab. It's been paid. Short kick in towards full forward. Buick drops what he should have taken. 50 metres from the Essendon goal. Buick harassed by Lee. Ball close to the boundary line. Still Buick. Trying to make up for that drop bar. Chance now for Denham. Denham snapshots a goal. First blood to Essendon. Their supporters are ecstatic. It's a very big game for both sides and Denham kicks the first goal of the game. And that play out on that flank when uh, here it is, Buick got away. Not from Scott Lee, but there from Wren. That was a poor effort from Wren. Should have done a better effort. Oh, held him up. Denham doing particularly well been playing as a tagger lately there's Modra and Fletcher well two up and comers and uh, what a challenge for Dustin Fletcher been playing well at centre half back Sandy the muddy Grenville hoisted out of the middle up to the half forward line but again dropping across that half back flank is Rod Jamison and he takes his third mark for the game interesting Jamison across half back he was one of their very good forwards in their first two years Pops on over the top to Nigel Smart. Celebrated his 24th birthday yesterday. I'm sure he'd love four premiership points today. The half forward. Jarman couldn't take it. Groom got the hand pass away to the running McGuinness. He floats a flat looking kick to the man of the moment. And when you're hot, Sandy, you're hot. Modra certainly is hot. The ball just seems to fall into your hands. But interesting enough, looking at the stats. Not that man on screen, but this man on screen has kicked approximately 45% of Adelaide's score this year. Quite incredible. So if you can shut him down, you're halfway to victory. This to become the first Crow to kick 50 goals in an AFL season, and he's done it. One goal to each side. The centre of the MCG, very, very muddy. One player has already been dumped there. That's uh, David Grenvold. You can see just in the right of the picture with uh, plenty of mud. Terrific conditions for football. You loved that, didn't you, Donny? Exciting stuff from the Hawthorne captain. 33, Wiedemann can't break clear. Neither can Anderson playing his first game against his old team. Greg Anderson crossing between seasons 92 and 93 and doing well for the Crows across the centre line. Chance again for Anderson, overruns it. Opportunity for Hills, tackled well. Ball comes back for Denham. Denham's kicked towards half forward. Now Ben Hart is under a little bit of pressure. Handball, Bickley in a little bit of trouble. Ola and Shaw, now Lee, tackled by Hurd. Ball held in, so the umpire giving the players a real good chance to get rid of it, which is what I like. A lot of times the umpire blows the whistle a little bit too quickly, I feel, and he will throw the ball in the air at centre-half forward for Essendon. Bills free once again. Oliver and Shaw left it. Trigens is at the bottom of the pack. Now McGuinness. Oliver and Shaw's kick up towards the pocket region. Goes close to the line and Buick sees it over. Hotly pursued by a Rod Maynard. 
fact, uh, a little too much heat out of bounds on the fall. So good pressure by this Crow to obtain the football as he kicks to the half-back flank. Grenbold left it, almost thrown out towards O'Donnell, who's taken out of it. Wiedemann's kick back towards the half-back flank. This is Hills, again over the line. Matthew Liptak. Good stuff. Somerville and a Wren. Oh, that's a push-out, surely. Oh, good. The umpire spotted that. You can see there, good positioning by Wren. And Somerville, going to be an interesting battle between these two. Wren's kick is long, up towards uh, the half-forward line. Watson unable to spoil, and the mark taken by the former skipper of the Brisbane Bears, Mark Mickett, in towards Modra territory. Harvey backs into the pack. Good tackle. Was on it was Rashido. Good, good tackle. Wouldn't that have been dropping the ball? It was O'Donnell who laid the tackle. Empire decided on a bounce. Dennis Rich and Andrew Coates are the men in might. Charge of proceedings today. Flip wide. Anderson, good pressure work. Then goes in after the football and is ripped to the ground. Danaher comes up asking the question. A bit of a love-hate relationship going on, I think, between Anderson and the Essendon crowd. Gee, they've got short memories, some of them, Robbo, don't yeah, they? Yeah, why? He was terrific for Essendon. Well, I don't know, but there's certainly something there. Snapping towards full forward. The Bombers have the numbers. Fletcher couldn't take the mark, but he was able to push it down in front of Oller and Shaw. Now Watson from half-back. Deft little chip up towards the half-back flank. That was to Joe Mercedes. The city does well to clear up the wards the centre wing. Again, the Crows have the numbers. Maynard brings it back. Oh, well done. Little kick finds Tregenza. About eight or nine metres closer to the Adelaide goal. Tregenza's kick up to the 50 metre line, but the high flyer is Thompson. Takes the mark and plays on quickly. Kicks it back near the centre of the ground. Smart from behind. Probably Maynard a bad option there. The player running with the flow of the ball was Jamison. Maynard taking possession was easily tackled and the ball held in for a, another bounce at left half forward for the Crows. Wiedemann just gets his foot to it. Ball gets clear to Masidi. Masidi's quick kick up towards full forward, reading it a little bit better than his opponent there was Scott Lee. Tackled by oh, Buell Fly. Play on, says the umpire. Isn't in a chance. Heard. He's got the football. Tackled by Smart. Must be penalised. He's not. He's getting a free kick. Too high. It wasn't a terrific passage of play. Firstly, the way Lee came out, met the ball. Why wasn't but, it a mark to Lee? Well, it was, but Lee played on. And then there was terrific harassment by Buick. Now, look at that harassment by Buick. And then, then comes Hurd. And there's the free kick. You see there, just a bit too high by Smart. Hurd shoots for goal. And he kicks Essendon's second goal. Straight kick in it, favouring the Bombers. Heard gets his 17th goal for the season. Interesting looking at Wren there, Sandy. He's got to put his body in at the centre bounce. He hasn't got one yet. He's not putting his body in over the ball. Oller and Shaw inside 50. Oh, big fly was by Simons. Couldn't complete the mark. Wiedemann gets the hand pass away. Bickley's short kick goes to Tregenza and he should clear from the back pocket. Tregenza. Towards half-back. No mark taken and pushed towards the line. Eventually taken over by Ricky Oller and Shaw. The best and fairest in the under-19s a couple of years ago. And the boys from Keelor making their presence felt. From the throw-in. Masidi got a bad bounce. McGuinness at the bottom tried to swat it out with the left hand. to get another chance because Tregenza said, here, have another go. Towards the half-forward. Now an opportunity for the Crows if Liptak can get going. Watson intercepts, does well to his skipper. Fine pass, and the mark is taken on half back by Joe Masidi. Had a good start. Masidi's kick over centre wing. Oh, Smart, I'd play that. Wren, not oh. made the mark. Thought he may have been, but... It may have been. Well, maybe uh, Jamison got not Smart. Jamison Smart got a hand to it. 
Oh, they must have got too many last Sunday night, I think. The umpires <laughs> really give them a raw deal here in the early minutes of the uh, first quarter. Wren, Maynard, free kick, well, free Maynard. kick this time now to Maynard. And he decides to go along the member's wing. High kick to half forward. Micken got one grab at it and got a sufficient second grab at it to be awarded the mark. Micken doesn't make any mistakes with this long left foot kick. Up towards full forward. Lip tack. Just didn't have the right bias on it, did he? And Matthew there, number 27, the medical student. Coming from one of the great lawn bowlers of our time, Don Scott. Saw him at the Adelaide Cup on Monday, uh, young Matthew Liptak. He was trying very, Scott. trying very hard like me to back a winner. I hope he was more successful than me. <laughs> so back into play. Five points the margin. Fletcher. He's on half back. He's one of the baby bombers. He pulls that ball towards the centre wing boundary line. And Mark McCurry can't get there in time. He's another. Got a crop of very exciting youngsters. Somerville. Wren at the back. Swats it towards centre wing. Oller and Shaw. Wanganee takes it away from Masidi. Up towards the Eston 50 metre line. And Crows having the numbers. Scott Lee. Takes it to McGuinness. Prolific ball getter, Tony McGuinness. Towards Jarman in the middle. Lost sight of it for a moment, and that opened the path for Grenville to set up the hand pass. And again, the Bombers are able to repel an attack. Down towards centre wing. Socket off the ground by Smart. Towards the boundary line. Wanganing caught. Too high, said the umpire. Tregenza doesn't like it. But he takes it from centre wing. And he kicks it straight to Wren. Oh! No, he didn't. Thought he was going to, but Simon said, I'll come over the top and take a screamer. And he did. Plays on, trying to go short inside 50 now. McGuinness locks it up in that position. Anderson is there too and about to take place. I'll tell you what, Hills was very good in that. It's a good battle between Ian Anderson. Very determined young man, Paul Hills. Bounce at centre-half forward for Essendon. Somerville can't get the ball clear. Maynard goes away for Bickley. Bickley's kick, a little bit of a scrubber in towards the centre, crashing his way through Harvey, no nonsense in the state squad at the moment Wanganeen's on the end of a chain of hand passes, into the forward pocket, oh, oh, great man. effort by Bickley it's good to see a backman put himself in front like Bickley did on that occasion, back himself because Buick had to sit look how far he's in front but he just held his ground, well done Mark Bickley. transfers play to the near side Tregenza marks, Oller and Shaw, be careful. Frustration sometimes can lead to a 50 metre penalty. Tregenza's kick into the path of Hart. Hart does well. Very promising young player, but equally as good there was Somerville in the smother. Effective ball over for a throw in. And uh, Ruckman doing the little things that count. Impressed with that, Dom. Couldn't help but be, will you? Wren, Jarman. Very polite this afternoon, aren't we, as McGuinness runs through the centre of the ground. Kicks it towards centre-half forward. Micken makes a contest of it. Lip tack into the action. Got the footy underneath. Oh, that could have nearly been deemed a throw. Harvey, sweeping hand pass for Grenvold. Grenvold, high, into the centre of the ground. No mark. Jarman's read it pretty well at the back of the pack. Little left foot kick was good. McGuinness, very quick to sum it up, marks at centre wing. He's already had five kicks, Tony McGuinness, but uh, that won't go down as one of his better ones. Thompson should clear this from the middle. Out of the bog. On the 50 metre line. Well done by Alessio. Gets it across to Simon. Short pass once again. Oh, this is going to result in a goal to Hurd. And the ball back in the centre. James Hurd, the uh, young man there. Two goals to he. Sean Denham has kicked one. And for the Adelaide Crows, Tony Modra has kicked their only goal at this stage of the game. An infringement at the centre bounce. Yes. Adelaide, too many players in, Don? Yes. Somerville will take the free kick. High kick by Somerville to right half forward. I wish that helicopter would disappear. The ball comes back to Denham. Denham off the right foot. Kick up towards full oh. forward. Clean bowls lead. 
Chance again for Simons. Tap on. Alessio. Standing his ground, Maynard. And Lee. They're under pressure, the Adelaide side, in their defence. Jamison. Sneaky little hand pass for Wiedemann. He's got a little bit of time now to have a look and deliver back near the centre of the ground. And a great mark taken by Wangameen. And what an exciting young player he is. So we've come to expect that from Wanganeen, Summerall gets the hand pass away, off to Thompson, Thompson pumps it deep in towards half forward, Buick territory, he overruns it, Bickley does well, tidying up nicely to Fregenza, and Fregenza steadies with a high kick, up towards Rosita, we yes, jump, Trump. doing some holding, yes he was, Sandy. been noticed in uh, Bomber Thompson has been called round the, 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 the players have really got to start to wake up to this because as evident last night, the umpires are now playing, holding the man Thompson the fairly congested half forward zone Buick he's good at the snap he's pulled it too far one behind to Darren Buick 13 points to the margin plays that forward pocket very well Darren Buick got a lot of he's got a lot of speed and the rest of his arrival now plays a permanent forward pocket Scotty Lee, straight down the middle to Nigel Smart. Good kick. Smart lays it off, and they should get out of trouble. This is Jamison over the centre, but a little too far. Mark Harvey takes the defensive mark. Harvey switches play to the far side of the ground. A good kick out into the path of Vasidi. The bounce a little awkward for him. He's forced to handball. Hill's more determined than Anderson. Vasidi goes into effect a uh, reasonable shepherd with the ball forced over for a boundary throw in right half forward for the Bombers Somerville gets the front spot ran over the top McDermott has not had too many touches so far Jamison and Maynard smothered by O'Donnell may lead to a goal to Eskman O'Donnell's kick to the goal front punched away by Hart Hewitt makes it difficult for him eventually the ball goes over for a boundary throw in it is a match up Hart and Alessio we can see there hard on screen. There is his opposite number, number 27, here in the ruck, Alessio. Towards Oleran Shaw, trying to do the work from behind. Grenbold, claim. Ball spills through. Clever tap on. A chance now for Mercedes. Well, these young boys look impressive. O'Donnell from 40 metres. Can he make amends for his last kick? In towards Alessio. Hart towards the line. And Bickley and Hart both quite happy to see it. Speaking of good players, uh, the man who wears 34 for the Crows. As, uh, they make an early change. Rowe comes on. There's another behind goes onto the board for the Bombers. What you were saying? Rowe has come on. I thought you were saying something about number 34. said that he was the most exciting player Don. here he is again Hart short to Lee short again to Anderson Chief. they're giving him the rounds of the tables Robbo to centre wing and the mark is taken on that outer side by Matthew Lipton. football supporters are a funny lot oh, Sandy doesn't take long to change Micken just ask Don Micken's kick in towards full ball and Modra was his target Row first kicks, it's just coming onto the ground. Flicks it round towards full forward. No mark taken, it spills free once again. Fletcher under pressure to Wanganeen. Hustle towards the boundary line. Oh, he's a clever player, this little bloke. In towards half back. McDermott used the body. Harvey. Hand pass. It was good. Could have uh, almost put his teammate under a bit of pressure for a high tackle for Hills. Not to be. Towards the line goes Mercedes and over on the outer side. What did you think, Don? I thought it was a bit high, Sandy. He grabbed the jumper up pretty high on the shoulder. And that is deemed as being around the neck. Masidi getting up a little slowly from that uh, clash. Boundary throw in. Liptak leaves it for Rowe. He's caught. So is Grenvold. Watson in the action. wanganeen has got it. Gets rid of it. Denham runs away. One of his great assets, Sean Denham. Very quick over the first 15 or 20. And the kick is effective into a vacant half-forward area. Alessio, first strong, runs away, gets his kick away. Eston have got two on one here. Buick, caught well by Bickley. In goes Pregenza, hand pass. Wiedemann's in all sorts of trouble. 
but he gets his foot to the ball out wide towards right forward pocket O'Donnell can get a shot away short pass Wiedemann can't mark out comes Smart handles the ball all right McGuinness caught Smart look at the pressure that the Adelaide defence are under Lee now into the goal square where Maynard has no one to kick to yes he has he's got someone at half back and that is Jamison Jamison's hand pass finds Kregenza Kregenza's kick in towards centre half forward looking for Micken can't take the mark Jarman must get this you've got to be a little bit more determined Andrew well, he was determined he can't question that but what he did do was put the hand over the shoulder because he was caught a little behind well if he's a bit more fierce at the contest maybe he wouldn't have had oh. the shoulder over great leap by Simons runs on kicks towards full forward back one hand smart in his herd chance now for Mercury dumped there by Wiedemann Wiedemann on the bottom of all that Bickley will get clear sweeping hand pass finds Maynard back to McGuinness who's run a good distance there in that contest his kick wide towards the wing Rowe stands his ground make it difficult for Thompson and that's what Rowe's out there for Rowe comes away with the ball and kicks at the centre half forward but it's ill directed and the CD marks at centre half back for Esplanade good tight first quarter here at the MCG Granvold in the middle slow to get going out of the mud to the half forward line his target was heard who's beat it too he's a very talented player towards full forward at the back McCurry the Bombers stealing the biggest lead in the game today 26 plays 7 a margin of 19 points the heavy track taking its toll on the men in white but I apologise because I said Robert Greenwood, Bob Greenwood, who played as a rover, was number two. He was number eight. Well, you were, with respect, I'm never one of the great trivia kings of our time, were you? Four-two plays one-one. Somerville preparing to do the ruck work up against Wren. The latter wins it. They need a goal, the Crows. Olerenshaw hoping to prevent that to Wanganeen. Off to Grenville. Grenville plods around the mud. Kicks to half forward. Simons may come in from the side. He does, but he can't take the mark. Oh, oh. McCurry too high. That's what I thought. The umpire was right there, Sandy. Had a clear, uninter uninterrupted view. Now, is Wiedemann going to go off because blood is trickling from the eye? In rugby league, they've got the blood bent. And here's the... Re what's this? Now, look. Too high. Their arm did slip up. No free kick. Comes to Bickley. Over the top to McDermott. Pumps his way across the middle. That booing you can hear is uh, for Anderson. To half forward, Modra. Got a decent old shove in the back. Fletcher. Oh, lacks a fortune. Olerenshaw gets it away to Thompson. They're out of trouble once again. Half here, chip the centre wing and O'Donnell. Gary O'Donnell. Somerville saying, go my boy. So he bounces his way across the centre. In towards half forward. Herds his target. Over the back it goes. Smart towards the boundary line. And it's as subtle as walking on the hot coals. But it's over the line and safety remote. Safety for a moment. Well, that could prove very costly, could it not? McCurry's kick. Through very costly. Good start by the Bombers. 5-2 to a goal. And Rashido is coming on. And as there's McCurry, his second goal from that mistake. What a terrific kick for goal. Very difficult to kick from there. But not a problem from this youngster. His second, McCurry. So the Essendon side, 5-2 to one goal for Adelaide. Essendon half back line playing very, very well. Terrific wall of defence, Watson. Thompson, the captain, Harvey. Combination. You see they're doing something with Tim Watson, the runner. Brian Wood has just gone out and spoken to Tim and now he's going down to Fletcher. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Anderson gets the kick away, but Harvey's there. 
Handball for Oller and Shaw. Right. Goes further back for Thompson. Essendon five centre breaks for zero. So Adelaide falling down, trying to get the ball out of the muddy centre. O'Donnell's kicked the centre half forward. Somerville up high. Chance down for Hills. To Watson, 40 metres out directly in front. Kick doesn't quite carry. Ben Hart, well done. Runs back across the face of goal. Kicks it into the opposite back pocket. And Jamison has taken the mark. Had a good start to this game, Jamison. Six kicks to Anderson. Towards uh, centre wing. Jamison again. <laughs> That booing's going to become Sandy, boring. what they're doing with Tim Watson, I mean, he, we just saw him nearly kick a uh, score. He seems to be playing as a loose man around midfield. Harvey's playing at centre-half back on Micken. Lip tack on the row. Now they've got a chance to close. Where's Modra? Couldn't take the mark. Recovers. Has got to give a little ground back to Tregenza. He's just forward of centre wing Tregenza. Now he kicks up towards the forward line. Jarman off the back, but he's too slow. Fine tackle. Great pressure put on the Crow forwards. Look at that. Lip tack goes to ground. Oller and Shaw will get the hand pass away. O'Donnell will steady from the back yes, pocket. Yes, yes, yes. He's picked that up, the umpire. That's going to Oller and Shaw because Charman slugging the ground after the ball had gone. What a terrific effort a little earlier by Oller and Shaw to run in with a fly to the ball. He nearly took it. Well, he's kicked into the man on the mark and Jarman's finished up with the football. Short little pass. McGuinness will have a shot. 40 metres out. How far has a kick got to go before it's a mark? 10 metres. Well, that was 9 and 3 quarters. <laughs> Actually, Watson now has gone back onto Micken, so maybe Harvey comes up. There's a plan that maybe when he runs down the ground, Harvey goes across and man's up on Micken at centre-half back and allows Watson to go down the ground. Micken's got to be awake to that. He averages almost 27 disposals a week. Tony McGuinness, he's a lovely kicker of the football, and that is no exception. Need a goal for the Crows. They're second. They trail by 20 points. He was one of their better players last week. The little fellow, tremendously fit. Certainly can run. He does cover a lot of area. Gets down the back line and also the forward line. It's good to see a rover, not just a fellow that picks up kicks around the ground, but can also kick goals. It was a good kick by McGuinness because the ball just getting a little heavy now. Umpire just throwing it in the air at the centre. Chance here for McDermott. Already covered in uh, the Merry Creek mud. Kick high. Rebounds for McGuinness. Anderson caught with the football. Falls free for Jamison, but uh, unfortunately for Anderson, he's being penalised and the free kick will go to Mercury. Mercury in towards centre half forward. Mark taken by Wren. Just feel Andrew Jarman can get a little bit more involved in this game of footy such an important player for Adelaide to get plenty of possessions Rowe has the football, centre wing kicks it in towards half forward marking contest between Watson and Micken Watson moves it on, Thompson combining with Mercedes. Mercedes wobbling punt kick has been marked by Wren Wren handball for Jarman Jarman's left foot kick is high in towards half forward but the siren sounds and it's quarter time here in the big game at the MCG Essendon lead by 20 points, they're 5-2, Adelaide at two goals. To our telecast, Max Stevens. Max, in somewhat cool conditions, welcome. Very cool, Sandy. Uh, compared with last night, though, the game here at the MCG, not as much rain, light rain falling as we speak. We're looking at a top temperature today of 16 degrees. Now, the forecast says there's going to be hail, but I find that very hard to believe. In fact, I'm praying that isn't the case. The ground, well... The ground conditions are very boggy around the centre and along the flanks it's pretty slippery as we've already seen. Now the word from the huddle, Kevin Sheedy and Essendon, well at this stage he's pretty happy with the work rate right around the ground. Interesting to see Tim Watson picking up Mark Micken, giving away a lot of height. Graham Corn's main message, well, pretty simple, start picking up players. Stephen Rowe coming on at about the 18 minute mark for Mark Rusciuto, off. No injury worry there, he came back on towards the end of that quarter. Wayne Wiedemann has a cut to the side of his uh, right eye, not too serious. And Rodney Maynard benched towards the end of that quarter. Thank you, Max. I don't see why, Max, you should be shocked at hail falling here in Melbourne. It could well happen. Uh, Dennis Rich is preparing to get the second quarter underway. Graham Light Corns rain at the moment. Sorry, Sandy. Graham Corns had a few words to Andrew Jarman. 
There's Micken. I think he's got problems with his contacts at uh, quarter time in the huddle there. He was doing something with them and uh, he's still got problems. So let's hope he's all right because once a contact is dislodged from your eye, very hard to focus, Sandy. Okay, here we go. Second quarter. The Bombers leading by 20 points and Graham Corns having plenty to say at the first change. Yola and Shaw at the bottom of the pack. Jarman and Rowe swamp him. The reason why it is hard to focus, I should explain, is that one eye's got the contact, the other hasn't. I'm sure everyone's just uh, as well advised as we are now, Sandy. Like work with an optician, isn't it, really? <laughs> Back to the footy. Free kick going the way of... Free kicks, 10 Donald to Essendon, Wanganine. 3 to Adelaide. Wanganin's kick up towards half four. Oh, he's a good player. James Hurd. O'Donnell. Long kick up towards Alessio. Oh, yes! Just a bit too much bulk for Ben Hart to move. Whether you call it strength or bulk, we just watch here, see Hart just couldn't do a thing. He had better position, Alessio. The ball came down quickly. And as a forward, that's the way you like the ball to come into that zone. Very quick. Good prospect, Alessio. Oh, very quick in the head, Ian. He's not very quick over the ground, but he does do some quite amazing things for a big man. Directly in front, 30 metres. Well, he has a long run up, and that's not a pretty sight. The run up or the oh, shot? No, the result. result. <laughs> oh, the result. Of the run up. <laughs> Lee, bring it back into play. One behind. Good news for Crows. That's the last thing they want to let Essendon sneak away early in the second quarter. They've got to stay in touch. It's a vital game. Smart takes a strong run. Although not everyone agrees. I don't blame that Essendon guy for going berserk there. Didn't hold it long enough. The umpire thought so, and that's all that counts. Off he goes to Trigenza. On the outer side of the ground, up towards Mudra. Couldn't take it. Essendon should clear. Through Danaher. Sweeping hand pass is good to Harvey. They rebound once again. The Essendon defence has worked extremely well. Mercedes kick in towards the centre is not quite so good as Wren ponders a hand pass and then elects to go back. This time he does get it away to Wiedemann. Up to half forward. Eston have the numbers. Wanganin at the back, slow to recover. Micken runs into trouble, tries to go over the top and Harvey sees it over the line. Throw in. Crows attacking zone. I think we've been harping for uh, nigh on three or four years now. The work load of the forwards to try and make the defenders work just a little bit harder to clear the ball out. Nesman's defence at the moment is just getting it too easy. Free kick has been picked out of that contest there and it's going to, it looks like it's going to Essendon to be taken by Hills. Didn't quite see what that was for. Now play goes on. Away for Denham. Denham does well. Long kick. No one home for the Bombers. Wiedemann takes the mark. Player further afield on the wing is Rowe. Away for McGuinness. That was nearly a throw. McGuinness, a thumping kick in towards full forward. Modra, punched away by Fletcher, was good. Quite disciplined, uh, young Fletcher. Doing well. Anthony Danaher's kick out to the wing. And the mark is taken out there by Olenshaw. He's probably closer to half back. Gets back quickly, kicks it to the wing. Mercury and Lee. Lee flips it over. Simons gets it to O'Donnell. O'Donnell's short kick too far for some of it. In comes Hurd. Good gather. Half volley was terrific. Look out. Good pressure by Smart. Maybe Hurd just thought he had a little bit of extra time there. Smart bashes it over the boundary line. And I've seen less disguised bashes over the boundary line be penalised in the past. Wren and Summerville. Just in Essendon's attacking zone. Hurd gets a short kick. Only as far as Lee. Sweeps the hand pass away. Crows looking for their first goal in the second quarter. Jamison sends them up towards the 50 metre line. Micken couldn't take the mark. And again, the defence is so strong. Wanganin tidies up across half back. Has the luxury of a bounce that drifts it back in towards the centre. Grenville oh, pulled off the ball. Not free kick to Grenville. Not free kick. 
and Bummer fans asking why. We saw Wanganing clear across half back. Eight kicks and three marks. He's been busy. Masiti seven and five. Working well. Jama. Doesn't look 100%. Bickley. Throws and move it to half forward. Again, Wanganee. Cleverly to Harvey. He's the experience in that defence. Mark Harvey drifts it beautifully into the middle. Lovely kick, finding Grenvold. Grenvold just backward of the centre circle. Will kick the ball in towards centre half forward. Well done, two out of a muddy patch. Alessio can't take the mark. In comes Buick. Tries to tap it to his own advantage. Tackled by Smart. Jarman in there, crunching herd. Scott Lee able to gather his composure and kick it wide to the wing. Top effort by Tregenza. Hand pass ineffective. Denham, Masidi. And now Oller and Shaw, caught by McGuinness. Gets the hand pass away. And it goes over for a throw in. The little fellows have got, from the flanks have got to get in closer to Mick in there. We saw the ball when it came down to centre-half forward position where he's playing. He tapped it on. He's trying to move the ball on because his number's getting there. He can't get a clean mark at it, but at least it's moving. And the players around him have got to wake up to what he's going to do. So again, this kick went about three metres to Sean Denham. And then over the line. Ren again. Jarman waits at the back comes his way sweeps it nicely to Tregenza throws up towards half forward inside 50 just for a moment Wanganeen ridden into the ground no free kick row 70 metres out Modra gives him something to aim for that's his recovery line he could have given away a free kick going over the top ordinary kick by row the pass should have been further out in front of Modra Wanganeen again the half back line Watson towards centre wing Somerville Watson caught almost got away from Jarman but the, the football spilled free McGuinness scoots away and spears it in towards the half forward line Rashudo big wraps on this young fella 65 metres out Madra no mark Yes. Uh, there is a mark there, Sandy. He would have taken it had he had not been pushed off the ball by Fletcher. May have turned his ankle a bit too. You can see he's getting up his limping. Just watch this. He, he had control of the ball there, but just pushed the ground. Oh, it's the softest mark I've seen. Very, very ordinary decision. You think that's a mark, Doc? I would have played a mark. Well, he is limping. Let's hope he's okay for the crow's sake. Directly in front. Snuck at home, I think. So Modra kicks his second goal. Tony McGuinness has kicked one. And just keeps Adelaide in touch. They trail by just 15 points. Jarman, Rowe, McGuinness. Kick towards half forward. Lip tack. Well done. Gets away from O'Donnell. Hooks his kick into the pocket. No mark taken. And Wangamine giving applause there to his counterparts, Danaher and Fletcher. The ball over for a boundary throw-in. Right forward pocket for Adelaide. Chance for the Crows to add another one here. Thompson in over the top. Rowe is there also. And at the bottom... So often is Matthew Luptak. Anybody's game, this. The Crows have got to show that they can win away from home after such a sensational start to the season. Got a steady again. Jarman and McGuinness, two of the senior men. For 55 metres, unable to take the mark was Rod Jamison. But great work by Wangamine again. Well, he's built like a bit of eight-gauge wire, but he's had ten kicks and three hand passes, Don. And you being a farmer would know that's a pretty skinny wire. The half-forward. 
Again, the Bombers having the numbers. They cleared at the half back line. Anderson will be first to it. The former Bomber is returned home. Hits to the 50 metre line. Rowe, does he get a chance to run at the ball? He overruns it. Still on 50. Eventually he gets it out. Towards the boundary line, or attempting to go towards the line was Masini. Now Watson, under pressure. Rowe, left foot digging towards full forward. Fletcher tries to belt it towards the boundary line. Denham is there. And he'll be more than happy to accommodate Tony McGuinness as he drag him over the line. Some of it's going off, kick it coming on, so that'll probably release Alessio to go onto the ball. Kick it will go down to full forward and be picked up by Smart. Actually, that was interesting play by Fletcher because he had a player running beside him, but he hit the ball towards the Adelaide goal. But there's a free kick. Which is up, may have been a little bit too high, too high there on Matthew Liptak. I guess that uh, we, what Don said, we have the advantage of, uh, of replay. replay. And it didn't show much, did it, Sandy? You're shaking your head. Liptak a chance to kick a goal for Adelaide. Good kick too by Matthew Liptak. The goal. Centre bounce once again. Might check that score of Adelaide could be four goals one, but they have certainly steadied the ship and are back in the fight once again. Back towards the centre, back towards Anderson. Oh, he could have almost lost it. He sat over the ball. Jarman on all fours, at least gets it clear. Got to get rid of it there. quickly. He go and get quickly. It. He's lost it. Jamison dragged it back in under his body and just couldn't get rid of it quickly enough. Wangani through the centre to half forward. Heard. Flew high. Couldn't take the mark. Essendon have the numbers. It's pummeled out. Denham Coming going back. off. Sandy Denham going off. Sean Denham's had the tagging job on McGuinness. He's going off. And Michael Long's coming on. So I wonder whether they'll still tag McGuinness Essendon or will Long just go onto the forward line? Smart to McGuinness up towards uh, half forward. Rowe waiting down in front. Couldn't take it cleanly. Gets caught. Loses the football. Rusciuto couldn't take it. Eventually Rowe gives him another chance. Pumps it in towards half forward. Fletcher charged his arm. He did well. Feeding Modra. Off to Harvey. Mark Harvey a chance to run. Oh, he's got Long out here on the wing by himself. Michael Long's pat his hand up for ages. Well, Alessio perhaps should have tried to tap it onto him. Now he should. No, he won't. He decides to take a centering kick in towards half forward. And maybe not the right option because Smart is there to take a timely mark in defence for the Crows. I think Smart was a little fortunate that he wasn't called to play on, but Adelaide may get clear now. Bickley's caught. Gets the hand pass away. Gee, the umpire was very good there to allow that uh, Adelaide player to get clear. Maynard's penalising him. Maynard's come on. He's gone down on the forward line. I think that was Groom that went off for Adelaide. Long has gone into the forward pocket, and I saw Buick moving up the ground. So he's going to play as a rover, Buick, in place Wren. of Denham. Wren will take the free kick from the ruck contest. Handball away for McDermott. In turn for Bickley. Talking to one of the uh, old South Australian, well, he wouldn't like to be calling him old, Lindsay Backman last week, and uh, he said that Bickley is... Uh, one of their real good chances for a roving position. He's playing in the back pocket. Talking about a couple of great South Adelaide players there. One of the Gary Medal, didn't he? Lindsay, Lindsay Backman. Backman. He'd be very impressed. Well, that's what I heard last uh, Sunday anyway, Sandy. And uh, he was a big rap for Bickley as a rover in this Adelaide side. But uh, doing a good job. Anyway, the football's with Maynard. 40 metres out directly in front. Doesn't mind kicking a goal, Rodney Maynard. And he's done very nicely. So the Crows answer the challenge here at the MCG. Buick takes it out of the middle for Essendon. Down towards Long, who's just come onto the ground. So too is kick it. But it's Hart, who defends towards the line and sees it over. Michael Long playing half forward, Sandy. For Essendon being picked up by Bickley. Hart's got the job on kick it. Smart on Hurd. Wren got a hand to it. McGuinness, a hurried kick, gains probably the 35 to 40 metres before finding the boundary line. Valuable kick. He's a terrific little player, Tony McGuinness, isn't oh, he? Yeah. 13 kicks already. Fantastic performance by uh, McGuinness. Oh, that's a free kick. Buick towards half forward. Long, who is determined to keep his hands to himself, gives it to Mercedes. 
down towards Hearn, gets a bad bounce, so did uh, Scott Lee, O'Brien's caught, ball spills free, into the centre it goes, now a chance for O'Donnell, short little chip is good and he finds a Buick. Darren Buick, directly in front. Long ignored. Oh, it's a lovely kick. It's a lovely kick. Always had confidence in his own ability then, Buick. Very nonchalant as he went back, asking for the mark. But that was a magnificent kick from Buick. Look, right on that 50-metre line. Just kept on going. Went every bit of 60. Well, it was just what Essendon needed. Adelaide coming at them now. Essendon 6-3, lead Adelaide 5-1. Good tap down by Wren, but taken away by Mercedes, who just knocks up getting the football. Anderson and Long, a good clash. All rebounding towards the boundary line, eventually going over. Mercedes has had 10 kicks and 9 hand passes, and Max Stevens has got an injury report down on the boundary line. Sean Denham, a left knee injury, it appears to be towards the back of the knee, received a bit of, bit of physio, should be available to come back on. Alessio, the free kick out of the ruck contest, kick to half forward, big punch by Smart, taken by Bickley, hand pass McDermott, kick towards the half forward area, and it trundles over for a boundary throw in. They look a little cumbersome, Adelaide at centre half forward, I know Mark Micken's got a big heart, and if he can take the mark, it's an advantage. But when it hits the ground... Well, it's not his job then, is it? It's the fellows either side of him that have got to reap that or take advantage of it. Watson from Buick in towards the centre of the ground. Tregenza does well. Now Simons. Hand pass for O'Donnell. But he leaves it for Buick, who ducks and weaves. Kicks the full forward. Oh, oh great effort by Ben Hart. Isn't that a good effort? Just 19, Ben Hart. Well, perhaps Kicker was just slowing down for that instance, but then again, great quickness by Hart. Throw in, right forward pocket for the Bombers. O'Donnell has it held, Tregenza doing the tackling. Oh, that's magnificent play from James Hurd. Nine minutes left in the second quarter, James Hurd with five kicks. has kicked three goals. There's Sean Wren. Preparing for the ruck contest. Essendon lead now by 14 points. After Adelaide trailed by just two points a few minutes ago. And it's been Buick being put onto the ball. Had hurt a certain too. influence. Jones hurt himself back in the centre of the ground. Maybe he got a hit around the head a little high. Buick looking for the kick to be transferred downfield. It's coming back to Buick just forward of the centre circle kicked a terrific goal a few minutes ago short pass Ooh, looking for out there for Thompson dragged down by Anderson taken by Jarman gives away a little bit of ground desperate stuff kick it ball flipped back for Thompson Thompson <laughs> slaps his left foot at it kicks it across the face of goal and it's out of bounds in the opposite forward pocket for Essendon a good lead by Thompson from the kick from Buick Buick was a little slow getting it on the ground but uh, Thompson was in a lot of space. Buick too slow to get it across to him. Lee goes to the outer side. McGuinness doing the scouting. Taken away from him. Essendon inside 50 once again. Long down in front to try and accommodate. Kick it. Derek, kick it. Danger from this position. Pulls it too far. From behind. Seven four. That's five one. Lee again bring it back into play Crows could well be preparing to make a change Wren lopes away with Alessio he's taking plenty of time eventually he heads to the outer side a big pack of players and in front was Smart off quickly, Bickley 
Over the centre he goes. Long kick. Oh, almost the one-hander. It's going to be pain to Tim Watson. The elder statesman for the Bombers. Towards Michael Long. Bickley could have been retarded. He was, said the umpire. And he'll take the free kick on centre wing. Wanted to give it to Scott Lee going past, but he's got to go back. Take his kick over the mark. Up towards Mudra territory. And he almost uh, pulled it in with one hand. Tim Watson props over it for a moment. Just long enough for the whistle to sound for a bounce. Not to lose it. I think Tim would have something to say about this elder statesman business, wouldn't he? Oh, no, he's very understanding in that regard. McGuinness, written into the ground by Grenville, taken by McDermott, pumped back in towards full forward. Mudra is there, will try and flick it back. Watson overruns it. Could be costly. Suck it off the ground. We'll get out of it, Essendon. It's pushed over to the other pocket. Smart play by Modra. Smart play. Good looking great with his teeth out, Tim, isn't he? <laughs> Micken does the ruck work. Ball now with uh, Thompson. Thompson's kicked back near the centre of the ground. Alessio, gather. Tackle by Jarman. Effective. Oh. Through goes McDermott. Hand pass, looks for Jamison, in turn McGuinness, he'll nearly kick a goal from here. Oh, she's a good kick on the run, McGuinness, got the distance easily, but missed to the left-hand side. Wren's gone off, he's gone off for a rest onto the bench, and Broom has come back on. Broom is going to pick up Alessio, and Somerville, who was rucking, replaced by Alessio in the ruck, is coming onto the ground. Is that Oller and Shaw coming off? Adelaide need another goal before half time. There's six minutes left in the second quarter. It's the kick in goes McCure. towards Alessio. Could have been McCure. You know. Anderson tackle. Get the handball away for McDermott. Short pass. Good. Jarman receiving from Micken. Goes for goal. Into the square. Fletcher. Knocked off it by Modra. Should be a free kick. And it will be to Fletcher. Good young player. Hand pass away for Thompson. And Essendon will get clear. Bomber Thompson, somewhat tentative bounce. Then goes long up towards uh, centre wing. Simons, who does look like that former player O'Brien, gets it away, but it's Lee. Back towards full forward. Fletcher forced to defend, so too are his teammates. This is Wanganeen. Heads for open territory. And gains probably 65 metres as it ambles over the line. Greg Anderson is there. So too. Paul Hills. Micken threw it up in the air and lost it. Hills, likewise. O'Donnell slaps it over the back, but it's McGuinness who takes it off the road. The Crows mounting a charge once again. Over the top. A good effective spoil by Danaher. Tregenza and Olrenshaw. Who's holding who? Go on with it, Maynard. Modra! Oh, but couldn't take the mark. Throw it on the other side. Well, he's probably had every man his dog chasing him this week. After 10 last week. Well, Esmond have done well around the middle of the ground to put pressure on the players delivering a football. Yep. Lip tack. Yes! Well done. Shepard it through by Modra for a goal. He gets his second. And that's the goal that the Crows wanted before half-time. Well, at least they're in striking distance. It's a matter of only eight points. Does well in the ruck, doesn't he, Mick? And he's just so experienced, knows how to use his body. Just at the critical time, he makes position, gets the hit out. And it was that lip tack who took advantage in his second. So, back in the centre of the ground, Groom now doing the ruck work. Alessio takes it out of the air and kicks it high towards centre-half forward. Smart, a big punch. Ball rebounds for Wiedemann, Jarman, Anderson running nicely and kicks it long, up towards full forward. No mark taken, ball rebounds, chance for Rusciuto, back to Jamison, slick hand pass Maynard, shocking kick chopped off by O'Donnell. This is a bit of unsportsmanlike play behind by Tim Watson pushing Luke back to the ground. O'Donnell's kick, -like by Tim. being oh, marked by later. Buick. Well, I don't think he's worried about his commentating duties now, Donnie. Buick's kick up towards the wing. Hurd can't take the mark. O'Donnell again. 
gets his foot to it effectively by keeping it in and now eventually a throw in will take place as Mercury prepares to come back on the ground for Essendon on centre wing Bryden they call him groom here's a chance for the Bombers to go forward through hills and hoist it up the half forward and kick it takes the mark directly in front doesn't mind a bomb either does Derek can let one go Fifty-five metres he'll have to do. Oh, look at that. Look at that for a kick. Thank you, he says. We'll go back to the centre. He, he is an amazing player. There he is, number nine. When I was a youngster, Greg Sewell used to wear this number for Essendon in the back pocket. Now Derek Kickett wears it and wears it well. There's Greg Sewell will memory. never be forgotten. <laughs> not, as, not as long as I'm around. Good on you, Dotty. He was a terrific player and a past Pre president of the Essendon Football Club. Yep. And Curie's back on too. And I think they won two down. premierships while he was president in, uh, yep. in the early 80s. Yep, beat Hawthorne. They're a chance to get clear here through Mercedes. Good effort there by O'Donnell to make it difficult for Lee. Or equally as well done by Hills. Anderson's little kick. Jamison's a chance. Gather. Dispossessed. Long just knocks his opponent away. Kick it. Kick it again. And just as Adelaide were making a bit of a charge, oh, Kerry too kick slow. It, they get his second goal within a minute. Just too slow. McCurry was by himself on the edge of the square. Now Kickett's got to kick this. Now this is not good play by Derek Kicker. But Derek will kick it. <laughs> Derek Kicker goes for goal and bangs it through. You worry, Don. You worry. Well, he had to kick it, actually. Graham Corns look, looking a little concerned as Essendon kicked their ninth goal. They did 9-4 to 6-2. Well, here's the mark. Well, what we don't see off screen is McCurry running into position. Long getting rid of McGuinness. O'Donnell by himself is kick it. But this is when McCurry made position right then. But kick it was just too long getting back. But... He kicked it. Back in the middle once more. Greenbolt down to a half board for the Bombers. Long couldn't take it. Thrown out the back. Long. 40 metres. Caught. Kick it. No. Three in three minutes. Yes. Oh, they're hot. He is amazing, isn't he, kick it? Black magic from Bomberland. There's Brian Wood out there talking with Kickett. I wonder whether he's talking about the fact that McCurry earlier. But here he is, Long, being tagged by Bickley, getting it away. But Kickett can make something out of absolutely nothing. Probably not as good as last year. Kickett but still a good player. And he's turned this game into the second quarter. Adelaide forced the ball forward. It's at half forward. Harvey just crashes his way through with authority. And Watson receiving gives to Thompson. Thompson's kick. The half forward. Hurd doesn't drop Benny. In goes James Hurd for his third. Could have been his fourth. Two goals with one kick. That would have been a top effort, wouldn't it? James Hurd. Three goals, one. And Kevin Sheedy, David Collins, Scott Lee on the ground to kick it back into play getting down towards one minute left in the first half kick out towards Alessio taken by Bickley hand pass little sloppy Jamison Jamison's kick to half forward high fly Thompson he's paid the mark from behind plays on quickly to Harvey those two have combined so well in defence Alessio sprints from half back and wobbles a puck towards man at the moment kick it no one able to take it cleanly. It's bottled up across that Essendon half forward line in the closing minute. McDermott is usually at the bottom. The closing minute of the first half. When Adelaide have threatened, Essendon so far has been able to answer. There's still a long way to go in this match. Jarman asked the question. So too oh. And yes, 
Johnson in the affirmative. Hot. Well, I thought, he, half back. I thought he got it out on that occasion. Well, they'll run out of time. Anderson takes the mark, but that will probably be the last kick of the half. Brighton Broom sneaks away, but it's half time here at the MCG. And the late goal for the Bombers, three in particular, to Derek Kicker, who started on the bench, came off and booted three in almost as many minutes to guide Essendon to a 65-38 to 38 lead at half time. So the score here at the MCG, Essendon, 10-5, 65, Adelaide, 6-2, 38. The action from Prince's Park, where it was pouring with rain. And Max, uh, Prince's Park is five kilometres from here. But you don't need an umbrella, my boy. Well, I don't, Sandy, and hopefully the hail will be at Princess Park and uh, not here. But uh, down to more important business, and the Adelaide Crows, well, from their rooms, Graham Corn saying coming from behind just isn't good enough. The Crows must learn to be in front. They must be first to the ball, and again, without sounding repetitive, it's the same situation, too many loose Essendon players. Now, although the change was made eventually, Derek kick it far too fast for Wayne Wiedemann. With all respect to Wayne, three goals in as many minutes says it all. Injuries, Sean Wren, well, he was rested during that quarter, is available to come back on. Uh, Paul Patterson, yet to have a run. Be interesting to see if Corns puts him on. And Sean Denham for Essendon, a very slight knee injury, but no problems there. And Sandy, as far as the win's concerned and the goal advantage, well, there's no win down here, so no goal advantage. Well, thank you, Max. Just about set for a start. Quick look at uh, some individuals. Well, Adelaide relies so much on uh, Chris McDermott, and he's been relatively quiet at this stage. It's only at the halfway mark, though. Let's see what happens in the second half. Wren flat on his back in the middle. Allows Grenville to kick it high up towards half forward. Kick it may have given away a free kick. And Jarman is in real trouble. Now that's uh, back in the middle. I didn't see that. That was behind play. Well, he hasn't looked 100% fit all day, but uh, that looks severe. Let's hope he's all right. Watson defends to Harvey as he has done most of the day and done it extremely well so too Wanganeen goes over the injured Jarman what's going on there with Long he's quick Michael Long left foot chip is good some of them someone takes that mark back in the centre he's still buckled over there he is he's a pretty tough competitor this man he can carry an injury it was an interesting contest between Bickley and Michael Long, wasn't it? And the umpire elected to just let play go on, which was... Uh, Fair enough. I, yes, I They're thought both it was... Go, yeah, so. I, thought that was, I thought there should be more of that in footy today. There's a little bit too much uh, ticky touchwood stuff. And I'm sure the umpires would get a better view of it from the supporters if they let it go. Vital kick for both sides. Stripped it across the face. And threw for one behind. Perhaps... Let's have a look at the jam now. He looks about 20% right at the moment. Let's see what happens. Did all over a leg? No, well, either there was a leg or somebody coming in front, another wrestling player coming in front as he went to smother. Crows get the ball clear of half back through Rusciuto. In towards the centre, Jarman. Beaten for it by Wanganeen. And I reckon he's probably given away about four free kicks today, Andrew Jarman. He well, just looks look totally out of sorts. And I quite wondered whether he'd been fit enough to have taken his place in the team anyway. Derek Kickett's little hand pass for O'Donnell. Diving on it, McDermott. Tries to get the ball clear for Wren. Now McGuinness. A sweeping left foot kick out towards the wing. Gathered by Long. The free kick. And it will go back because the umpire, for one fleeting second, was going to pay the advantage. But it's going back to Hills. And still Andrew Jarman back in the centre square. Trying to collect his thoughts. And favouring the right side of his body very much so. I think he'd have a rib, rib injury just looking at him. Man, he's, he's in a lot of pain. Heels from 50 metres. Lobs it into the goal square. Somerville in front of Wren. Not high on, says the umpire. Nigel Smart. Smothered by Buick. Taken by Ben Hart. Little tap for Tregenza's advantage. And the ball is over. Tregenza what? taking it. Now, why would Wren try and mark that ball from behind when he was, well, he was definitely outpointed by Summerall, and he tried to mark over Summerall. You know, when you're caught behind, you bring the ball in front. Have a look at North Melbourne last night. Disciplined play. Wren, Liptak, McGuinness, 
back for McDermott. Hemmed in in that back pocket. Kicks it about 40 metres out towards half back. Tregenza nearly. Chance for Wren. Held when he didn't have it. And he'll take the free kick at right half back. Straight on to Tregenza. Up to Lee on centre wing. Oliver and Shaw aggressive. But Lee has the football. The half forward Micken. This time he takes the mark. 60 metres out from goal. Modra waits in the square. We know he can fly from a standing start. This time it's a long lead. He won't get there in time. Anderson in front. Couldn't take it. O'Donnell waiting down. Bombers having the numbers. Danaher clears. Taken by Masidi to the outer side of the ground. Buick and McGuinness. Boundary line wins out. And Darren Buick has a close look at the boundary up by saying, did it come off his boot? No. Let's have an update on the injury problems of uh, Mr. Jarman. Max? Well, Sandy, referring to that incident in the middle, the Adelaide runner has told me that Andrew Jarman is OK. He was simply severely winded. Well, the runner's gone out there again to him anyway, and he's now down in the forward pocket being picked up by Wanganeen Jarman. Grenbold to Alessio. Couldn't hold it. O'Donnell. Thompson pumps Essendon up towards half forward kick it lurking dangerously Hurd couldn't take the mark Crows will get out of it through Bickley and McGuinness the former kicks up towards half forward Micken was his target fisted down Anderson long and low but only as far as Wanganeen shocking kick Wanganeen's kick, very effective, finds Harvey, about 40 metres closer to the Essendon goal. O'Donnell, looming near the centre mud circle. Harvey elects to go to the right-hand side of the ground where uh, Alessio has taken the mark. Handball away from Masidi, who doesn't seem to have an opponent. He's picked up about 25 possessions already. Rashudo, Lee, now McGuinness. Adelaide must get a goal out of this. He's screaming at them. Move, move. How to the forward and eventually kicks it for Wanganeen well there's six blokes up there and he still couldn't get one of them to move for him to kick to Buick in short awkward ball Wiedemann late Oops. McGuinness quickly too severe for Watson Mick and a tap on Rowe is there back for Tregenza a short kick and it's the first real good pass that Modra's had a chance to run onto when he marks in front of Fletcher. Also, Modra got away from Fletcher. Credit to Fletcher because he's really been there with Modra. Very, he's deceptively quick, the uh, youngster. There he is dragging the jumper of Modra. Modra just two kicks, two goals. So he could maintain his 100% record. Lovely kick. He's kicked his third. Three goals to Modra and McDermott McGuinness get it down to uh, towards that man once again. There's the courage of Harvey. Couldn't complete the mark, however. Wiedemann, why? Don, why is it that uh, more left footers that you see are not all that capable with their right foot? That's a good point because I believe it's everyone, every, the majority of guys that play are right footers. And you played it and I tried to develop the left foot. You can turn quicker. And you can upset a play if you turn onto that left foot, I found, you know, because everyone's right foot. And these guys get away with it time and time again by turning on their pivoting on their right foot because everyone expects the other way. So constantly they never have to pick up that skill. McDermott, but Watson intercepts. Who's holding who? Kick it and Machito. Let it go. Look at that hand pass from Pickett. Off to Ricky Ollerenshaw. Down towards the 50 metre line. Hart couldn't quite take it on the half volley. Great contest with James Hurd. Both teenagers, it's great to see them. Yeah. Fantastic. Both with fine futures. James Hurd from Ainsley. From the throwing. McGuinness has it held. On the bounce on the 50 metre line for the Bombers. Andrew coached the umpire with uh, Dennis Rich, just throwing it. Uh, into the ground, Alessio kicks it forward, long, mercurial, bashes it forward, no one there, and taking it over is Rusciuto, and 
not deliberately? Well, perhaps a little fortunate. I don't like that rule, to be quite honest with you. I don't know whether the umpire can really assess whether the player is being fair dinkum in bashing it on purpose. Large grey area, isn't it? It certainly is, and it, uh, the penalties in the forward line can be very severe. Ball held in there by the Crows defence. There's Derek Tickett, who kicked three magnificent goals towards the end of the second quarter for the Bombers. Again, Alessio and Wren. Ball spills clear. Long. Another one who has trouble kicking it with that right foot. Lee away for Hart. Hand pass into the path of McDermott. In trouble, gets it away to McGuinness. McGuinness's short kick. Lip tack. Got a chance here, the Crows. Short kick, Maynard. Into the centre. Player on his own there is Rashudo. Runs up towards the edge of the square. Kicks it in towards full foot. Ball kick. Really should have done better with that. Thompson. Runs through centre half back, no one to kick to. So he does what you should know. Well, O'Donnell got to a good position, but Thompson's kick was excellent, but O'Donnell's kick not quite so good. Chance here for Smart. Well done, Somerville. Gives O'Donnell a chance, and O'Donnell. Oh, Lee got back and ran it through for a rush behind. O'Donnell maybe could have kicked that a little harder, and Lee brings it back into play. Kick a little wide for Hart, but he's able to get back and gather and kick it further afield out towards right half back. Where Rashido sees it over the line. Seven kicks to this young man who is 32 for the Crows. Patterson, who uh, made the trip over. Late inclusion. Get to see him. Oliver and Shaw drags that ball in Rodney Maynard's there somewhere too 50 games for the Adelaide Crows along with uh, McDermott and Scott Lee on centre wing McGuinness had it then lost it but he's uh, got support back again he goes McGuinness look at that kick a beauty no mark to Modra bounced off his chest Masidi Clears again. The Essendon defence working well. Alessio in front. Maynard. His hand pass is OK. Finds lip tack. Smother by Alessio. Oh, the big man does it beautifully. Well played. Down towards the half forward line. Heard. Round his body, but there's no one home. Mark is taken by Scott Lee. Ren again behind Alessio. And Alessio finishes up with a ball wide as he punch from behind. The shooter. To be all right, smart into the center. Anderson McGuinness felled as he got his kick. In fact, the umpire is going to bring it back. Rod Maynard, what is he might be able to scoop away. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about advantage, but surely it might have been a relay free kick down the ground. Well, it's come back. Tone McGuinness is on the defensive side of center wing. Maynard's by himself. Bickley in towards Micken oh went half an hour too early Harvey stood his ground took the mark to Tim Watson free kick Harvey running wide kicks it out there to Buick O'Donnell there in support handball over the top to Buick who kept running Buick's kick across his body couldn't quite hook it around far enough so the free kick will go to Adelaide to be taken there by Bickley he's kicking towards the centre of the ground Collected by Hills. Looking to give the hand pass away. Anderson nearly got him, but O'Donnell is there. And O'Donnell's kicking a centre-half forward. Heard! Magnificent hands. He's taken mark number five. He's kicked three. Kick towards full forward. Some of them. I'll tell you what, there's a few people at Essendon don't like this guy, but I love him in the side. I think he's just got that little bit of um, unpredictability about him. You know, he can take the specky just got to learn to work a little bit harder when the opposition have got the football. Somerville from 40 metres. Long kick. Inaccurate kick. Through for one behind. Three behinds to Peter Somerville. 10-8 plays 7-2. The difference, four goals. Runner's gone out to Jarman. The Adelaide runner's gone out to Andrew Jarman again. I wonder what's going to happen to transpire. I wonder whether 
it was a little more than he's going on the winded. ball. I think he's going onto the ball. I think he's a little bit more than winded, Sandy. Mm. Doesn't look right, but nevertheless, Lee. Free kick. Yeah, certainly will be. Okay, against Joe Masidi. Maynard to take it. From half back off to Anderson. Giving him the rounds of the table today. Micken. Can they start something here? Lip tack. Oh, it came off his knee and he's regained it. Done well. Rose kick. Or oh, hand pass was started. That was good work by the S on the bench. Thompson. Oller and Shaw. Back to Thompson. On centre wing. Bombers kick towards Kicker. But dropping back to take the mark. And a courageous mark too is Rob Maynard. McDermott. They want him firing. They want him everywhere. Oh, look shot. at that kick. Not good. They were looking for Modra. He was on the lead, but it was Harvey chipping in, in all fairness. Harvey to Wanganeen just pops a little leap into the centre. And it's Joe Masi. 14 and 10, Masi. Well, the average is over 28 disposals, so he's right on target to continue that. Michael Long. Here is excitement plus. Look at this. Oliver and Shaw. Shave the post. Should have gone. It was a good build-up, wasn't it? My word. What about when Michael Long gets a football? Oh, I mean, he is exciting, Robbo. Well, he doesn't do probably as much as what you would like, but oh, he, he does like the it. unexpected. Oh, what he does is exciting stuff. Anderson looking for the kick in. He must get it, and he does. In front of Grenville. Careful, you'll lose the footy. Umpire right on the spot there. Anderson coming up for kick number 11. Goes to the far side. Unbelievable, isn't it? 12 months ago, they were cheering him. <laughs> well done, Smart. Paul Kicks Pat the ball to within scoring distance. Modra up high. Chance for lip tack. Still underneath there with the footy. Watson's got him. Great tackle. And Paul Watson Patterson. will take the free Paul kick. Patterson's come on and off. Is Wiedemann. Watson to Harvey. Bombers standing firm. Paul Hills. From half back. Uh, loose play, some of it on his own. Oh, now this will be interesting. Well, he sweeps a hand pass probably 30 metres. Smart tidies up, up to Jarman. Back to centre wing, McDermott. They want to go badly, the Crows. Micken throws it towards the line. And it's over. Which has been, which of those been in around Australia rally, Mark Mickham? Or in the Newcastle coal mines with Don driving. Jarman gets the hand pass away to Rowe. Up towards full forward again. Modra has it, fisted it away. Oh, courage by Oller and Shaw. Harvey's hand pass, not good. Could be very costly. Rowe on the end of it. The left foot step by Rowe. Has he got it? I think he has. Well, straight kicking, keeping Adelaide in this game. 8-2 to 10-9. They trail by just 19 points. Essendon should be further in front. They've really had control play. They've dominated play, really, but they just haven't capitalised on that scoreboard. Ruck contest. Somerville gets the tap out. Grenvold, Andrew Jarman, Maynard. McGuinness standing still. Really wasn't to the team's advantage. Kick off the ground, Harvey. Ball still round the centre of the ground. And a free kick. Is going to Oller and Shaw. And how can he see? Mud in his eyes. <laughs> Mercury away. Harvey. Onto the right foot. And kicks it long in towards full forward. But no one home for Essendon. And the mark taken by Scott Lee. He was a bit of an unsung hero at uh, the Adelaide Crows. Always does a fairly efficient job for his team. Short kick. Finds Wren. Back for Lee. Running away from Buick. Kicks it wide towards the wing. Bickley. Well done. Had to get it and did. Hand pass into the centre. Rusciuto. Poor kick. In towards half forward. Not Mark. Patterson is there. Nearly knocked his teammate out. Wanganeen. Handball back for Harvey. Harvey's kick out wide to half back. Long made a little bit more of it than it was necessary. But he takes the mark at right half back. Kicks towards centre wing. Somerville is tired. He should be free kick. Plays on quickly to Mercedes. Oh, here's a break. Buick, 60 metres. What's heard? 
with him is Hart. Kick it is there also. Hurd takes it. Gives it away. Grenbold. 40 metres from home. Shoots and shoots across the face and puts her behind. First score of the day, the D Grenbold. 10 10. Plays 8 2. 20 effective scoring shots to 10. Tells the story. Hart and Smart. Oh, careful. He's done well. Nigel Smart backed himself. Did extremely well. The centre wing. Maynard. Well, oh, Patterson off without it. But he's going to get another chance. Watson over the top to spoil Micken. Does well. Thompson. Now Jarman and Rowe. Well, caught. Tackled by Watson. Forced the throw. Watson will take it from half right. Well done. Watson looking a little puffed. Kicks it quickly towards the wing. Punched away. Tregenza there. Lee again. Short kick. Finds Micken. No one running in support. So he's playing stop-start football. He's kicking to the pocket. Mark no, Jamison, no. Kick smothered. Back goes Anthony Danaher. Jamison there to put a little bit of pressure on. Anthony Danaher's kick goes across the face of goal. And out of bounds in the opposite back pocket. 10-10 plays, 8-2. Difference is 20 points in favour of Essendon. Boundary throw in in the left forward pocket for the Adelaide side. Micken tries to do the ruck work. Thompson gets through a little too easily and then steadies and bangs it out towards the wing. Punched away by Lee. Gatherers by McDermott. Away for Lee. Getting a few kicks in this third quarter. Ah, oh, Wanganeen has taken a great mark. In towards half-back, Oller and Shaw. No one to kick to. There's a player in the centre of the ground making reasonable position. It's Somerville. The ball rebounds. Long gathers. Away for kick it. Sweeping hand pass. Mercedes nearly run down. Mercury in support. Mercury's kick towards full forward. And well done, Bickley. Very, very consistent player. Lee in a little spot of bother, but he's able to get it for Tregenza. Tregenza looking for Patterson, but Olerenshaw chips in, and he takes the mark. Harvey keeping Patterson away from the contest. Olerenshaw hooks the kick in towards the centre of the ground. Great mark taken by Grenville. Plays on towards McCurry. There's nobody on the forward line. Course, back to Grenville. The Bombers having the numbers. Hills to half forward. Wanting a chance and it was Mercedes. Anderson loses it. He's got Bickley. Kicks to the half back line and Maynard. Back towards Anderson again. Jarman. Now they can start something. McDermott is clear in the middle. Steams out of the centre. Modra on a long lead. He's on the 50 metre line. Patterson. Oh, he's put his teammate to tack under all sorts of pressure and he's been picked. Ewing has come off for us and then Simon's on. Wanganeen's kick heads towards Simon's. Oh, and Shaw. Oh, clever fight. In towards Kicker. Almost got one high. Quickly. Great smother by Derek Kicker. Mercury at the bottom. Oh, look at the aggression of Kicket. Yes, yes, I agree with that. Actually, I do agree with that. Too aggressive. Great footing. Oh, uh, look. There's really no need at all for that guy, Kicket. Lee. From half-back, kicks towards uh, centre wing. Patterson can't get there in time. It's over the line. The throw. Just over four minutes remaining in this third quarter Wren that to row Watson across half back has been very very solid let's go with a talk loves that Simons quickly in towards half forward at the back herd. Oh, here's trouble. McCurry from 60 metres into a vacant square. Which way will it bounce? Straight through the middle. 
11th goal to Essendon and they lead by 26 points long chance for Maynard gets an effective left foot to the ball centre half forward Patterson Rowe shot for goal by Rowe looks pretty good Adelaide get a goal back against the tide and they hang in there Stephen Rowe kicks his second goal and again the difference is just 20 yeah, just watch what Mark Micken does now this is what these Adelaide players have got to realise you're doing now look Mark Micken puts up the hand and just hits the ball on but they're not coming past one comes past lip tack on the right hand side what about somebody coming past a little quicker Rowe was second there was an Essendon player that got there before him now you know it is predictable but what Micken's going to do they've got to capitalise on it too big for Watson, making it some half forward. 20 points the margin. O'Donnell, out of the centre for the Bombers. Simons, who was holding who? Well, the umpire said you could both go on with it. Lee, kick smothered. Oller and Shaw almost threw it out. Long is exciting. Over the top, Mercury. Back to Long again. Simons, they do it well. In towards full forward. Her! Couldn't quite take a mark. The Shudo ripped away from the football. Now the Crows have the numbers. Bickley gave it to McGinnis who bounces his way across half back. He's almost down the centre wing. What's he got ahead of him? Up towards half forward. Mickens his man again. Wanganin also. Top one high. I don't think the umpire's going to play it. I tell you what, Wanganin should be penalised. Once you try to crash your way through and you're retarded, have another look at this. Bang, he's caught, he's still got the football. No free kick to Wanganin, so it's got to go to the close. A bounce. Watson. McDermott. He's the one who got it out. Tackle on Maynard, very solid. McGuinness, time ticking away. Crows can get another one here. Certainly going to make it interesting in the last quarter. Rogue could kick two in as many minutes. Won't make the distance. It's a high kick. Where's Modra? Oh, bounces into the post. Gee, that padding, Sandy, that padding wasn't there. It's always been, been a problem, Don. It has, yeah, it sure has, and that was a problem then, because it could have been a goal. Not a problem for Fosters, they put their signage on it, don't they? Correct. Don't worry about the player's safety. A behind, that's the bottom line. Anthony Danaher to kick the ball back into play for Essendon. Good kick too. Spotted O'Donnell at centre-half back, and he didn't let... Anthony Danaher down. O'Donnell, possession number 22. Kick towards centre wing. Punched away by Ben Hart. Rebounds for Olerenshaw. Forced to kick quickly. Up towards half forward. Kick it maybe against Rusciuto there. And 50 metres. If the free kick's given against and you throw it away. Tregenza. Half back. Short kick. Not bad. Patterson should have taken the mark. Lumbering, Simons and Harvey, still there Harvey, now McDermott, Patterson may make amends, kicks with that left foot, high, awkward, not great Mark Watson, and bounces away like a cat, and thumps it 50 metres towards goal, and a good mark taken by Wren at centre half back for the Adelaide side. 57 by 76. Wren, only his second kick. Over the centre. Anderson. Chance to pump the Crows forward again. He realises they're not, not on time left. Mott was given away. That's a great kick, surely, to Fletcher. Well, he's let it go. Wow. Danaher to Wanganeen on the last line of defence. Short little chip is effective. They steady it down with only seconds remaining. Why don't umpires give those? Everybody else on the ground can see them. They're closer to the action. Hills to the outer side. Summerville. He'll have the last kick of the quarter. Won't even worry. So three-quarter time here at the MCG. Essendon are 11-10. 76. They kick 1-5 that quarter. Adelaide a 9-3. And once again, here's Max Stevens.
Thanks, Sandy. Well, I tell you what, um, I'm not a betting man, but I wouldn't mind backing Adelaide at the moment. Don't want to sound like Jared Healy, but they love these close finishes as we've seen at Football Park. Catch up footy all day for the Adelaide Crows. Graham Corns running out of options. That term, they were getting the ball down to the forward line on plenty of occasions, but not finishing off. On the positive side, a far better quarter by the Crows. Their backmen keeping the pressure on Essendon. Essendon only kicking one goal, putting a lot of pressure on the Bombers. Corns having a talk to Stephen Rowe, a job well done. Done, kicking two goals, keeping Adelaide right in the game. Possibly the only man up forward doing um, what he should once he gets the ball. Now, the word from Graham Corns, pretty simple. Get the ball out of the centre first and go your hardest straight down the middle of this big ground here at the MCG. Sandy, I'd love a bet. I'll take Adelaide. Oh, oh, you can get on with me, Max. No, I don't. Robbo is prepared to take you on. Maxie. 50 cents. Oh, you big punter, you. Must be a recession. Oh, gee, they must play all right over in Adelaide, eh? <laughs> Here we go, then. Final quarter. Joe Masidi starting the last quarter on the bench for Essendon. He's had 27 possessions in three quarters, so maybe something wrong with him. Can the Crows come back? 76 plays 57. It's getting dark here at the MCG. Somerville couldn't take it. Long. Wanganee. Wide to the outer wing. Bit of space. Rashudo, first to it ahead of O'Donnell. But O'Donnell persists, runs into McDermott, and uh, throw in on the other side. McDermott, uh, relatively quiet in the first half, but 11 possessions in the third quarter. So him come back into his own once more. Jarman, also pretty quiet. To the half forward line. The Crows get the first one, they'll be in business. Rowe to full forward, Modra, one grab, couldn't complete it, Fletcher over the top, Watson dodging and weaving, says I'm going for safety to the outer side, Mark Harvey is there, but more importantly so is the boundary line. He couldn't help but be impressed with young Fletcher, I mean, for a big fellow, he's well over six foot six, and to come out with Modra, there he is on screen, number 31, he is exceptionally quick over the ground, and he hasn't been disgraced, in actual fact he's beaten Modra today. Oller and Shaw. O'Donnell dumped by Rusciuto. Unfortunately for Rusciuto, the free kick is with Gary O'Donnell. Obviously the umpire deeming that he didn't have the football. O'Donnell's kick towards centre half forward, broken down because Lee has taken the mark on his chest. Looking to break the player, holding up is Simons. Just looking down at that Adelaide forward line, nobody's in the 50 metre square except two players and they're in the goal square, that's Jamison and Modra, that's where they're starting their leads from, so they've got the whole 50 metre semicircle in which to lead. Tregenza's kick up towards full forward, Modra, should be a free kick anyway, shouldn't it? Rowe, Micken, shot for goal by Micken, is into the square, and eventually bounces through for one behind to Adelaide. So they've drawn first blood, even though it was just a behind. They trail by just 18 points. Anthony Danaher is playing his 220th game today. He hits to the outer side. Long. Oh, an excitement machine to Harvey. Fine hand pass. Suddenly, Essendon have it inside 50, but only as far as Smart. Marks well across half-back, kicks towards centre wing. Tregenza, time to steady after faltering with the one hand. Just pops it over the top, Patterson takes it. Came off the bench, late inclusion, into half-forward. Modra, fisted away well by Dustin Fletcher again. Sounds as though he should be in Hollywood. Lee. Towards full forward once more. Fletcher again with a fist. Watson to Harvey. The Crows throwing everything at Essendon in these opening minutes. Well done, Scott Lee. He's still going, Lee. Shrugs one tackle. Gets clear. His hand pass is good. Maynard had it spent before he got rid of it. He's lost it. Denham back on the ground. Was he pushed? Umpire said no. In fact, he's letting play go on. Half the players stop momentarily. I wish they'd passed the ball. They've bombed away three or four times into the forward line. Ball up in the centre. Very muddy. 
Bash back towards the grassy area where Rusciuto overruns the football. Tackled by Oleron Shaw and just retarding him ever so slightly, grabbing him by the jumper. So Mark Rusciuto will take the free kick. Kicking towards centre half forward. No mark taken. Anderson's a chance. Oh. Done. Absolutely done. Comprehensively. Away goes Grenvold. Grenvold's kick into position. Hurt's got it. Clearly outpointed Ben Hart there. Two of the young stars of the game. Have a look at Hurd's kick to the goal line. Buick takes the mark, but it's over for one behind to James Hurd. He's kicked three goals, two. Equal leading goal scorers for Essendon, Mark McCurry with three. And Gary Kickett with three. And for Adelaide, Modra has kicked three goals. Somerville locks arms with him. Simons has lost it. The lights are on too, Sam. Yes. Very dark at three-quarter time. Wanganin over the top with an effective spoil. Grenbold waiting down. His hand pass was meant for McCurry. Eventually that player does take advantage of it. Long on the outer side. Just a deft little chip to Buick who shook off. 30 metres. He's kicked it. Fire continues to throw the ball in the air in the muddy centre. A free kick there. Going to O'Donnell, a little too high. Long, is it? Long with the free kick. Andrew Jarman not too happy. A fairly dirty day, Andrew Jarman, for his standards. Oh, we wonder whether he's right, don't we? Well, I wondered, you know, when he was taken from the ground last week. Heard, punched away by Hart. Ball rebounds for Mercury. Gathered by Hill. It's away Another from Denham. Denham inside 50. Kicks long. And misses to the left-hand side. Essendon fans getting a little excited now. Andrew Jarman has six kicks. And 13 hand passes to his credit. Beckley from half back towards Tregenza. Crows want a couple of quick ones. They want a lift. Over centre wing he goes. Mick in the target. Bomber Thompson waits at the back. He's back again towards centre wing. Rashudo slip. McDermott gives it to McGuinness. Just uh, some short work on that outer side. Patterson has it. They need something positive up forward. They're going nowhere at the moment. Tregenza. Into half forward. Harvey on his own. I watched that for quite a while. That was well positioned. A well positioned himself. Harvey. He cut that out very much. Back towards the centre. Denham spent time on the bench, but he's back in town now. Towards the 50 metre line. Smart. Chanced his arm. Now he's got to beat Long. Well, he bounces up like a piece of elastic. Away he goes because he's got uh, Alessio short across right half forward. Sneaks away from a tired running Nigel Smart. Kicks in towards pull forward. Turn. Around he goes. of excitement when he gets a football in his hands too but one behind he's kicked three three robert mick it off two and coming on for adelaide there he is the warrior chris Croon. bryden bryden as uh, sandy calls him how do you spell his first name uh, well, i suppose bryden would be b-r-y-d-e-n is that right sandy oloran shaw o'donnell rusciuto in goes mercury Ducks past McDermott. Well done. Kicking towards half forward. No mark taken. Screaming through Buick. Doesn't miss these very often. Does not miss it. Back in the middle once again. Long rides the bump. Gives it to McCurry who pumps it wide to the outer side. As it wobbles towards the line. Our boundary line expert Max Stevens ponders as does Graham Corns. 
the Crows' fortunes today. Poor old Max, he's going to be 50 cents lighter, Sandy. He'll hate it too. McGuinness, a little too high. On the other side. Well, there's still plenty of time left in this game, but the Crows are just finding it difficult getting it past half forward. They might get a chance now. Where are their runners? Wanganin is there. Watson does some good shepherding work. Just clears a little path for him. Creates the space. Denham on the other side. 11th possession for Sean Denham, who spent time on the bench. To half forward, and an uncontested mark taken by Michael Simons. Simons kick in towards Urich again. He likes to run on. Will he kick this one from 35 metres? Yes! Oh -ho! The ball was a hot. Actually, he was trying to play on when he took that mark initially. He was looking over the right shoulder to see if he could con. I think it was Bickley, the man on the mark. Watch this. There it is, Bickley. Now, he's, he's going there. He was going. It was a good thing Bickley took hold of the jumper. But here he is. Turn the play on. Good effort. Isn't he such a good kick around goals, Darren Dewey? He's a good player, especially out forward. The 12 kicks and two hand passes, four goals, and a satisfied Essendon bench with 16 minutes left in the game. I think we only have to guess what the margin will be. 14-13 to 9-4. Wren, Tyler, Denham, taken by Anderson, can't break clear. But McDermott will get clear and he goes for goal a long kick to the square Danaher Watson the general their defense has been magnificent and you wouldn't pick anyone out maybe Wanganin but Thompson has done well short kick O'Donnell short kick a little too far for Grenville Rusciuto runs onto it and kicks it in towards half forward Broom can't take the mark Lip tack, dragged down by Harvey, taken by Thompson again, kick along the boundary line. Olerenshaw, a tap for O'Donnell, can't control it, boundary throw. You know, we saw a classic point in case when Dur McDermott got the ball, sent it long. Who was there to clean up? Tim Watson. It should have been a Crow player. They're just reading it so much better than their Crow players, Essendon defenders. They're doing what the Crows should be doing off the hands of the pack. Donald at the bottom. Nineteen kicks, five hand passes uh, for O'Donnell. Defences all work extremely well. McDermott gives it to Rowe. Up towards full forward. Modra! Again, got a hand to it, but couldn't complete the mark. Hills. He's hurt himself too, my brother. Short to the outer side. Thompson. Modra still down. We'll keep an eye on him. Grenville, away he scoots, his hand pass on centre wing, Rashido tidies up, Jarman and McGuinness now, high kick towards the 50 metre line, Watson, cool in a crisis, well there's not really a crisis for the Essendon defence at the moment, Denham on the defensive side of centre, 97 plays 58. Tumbles a punt over the mud square. Greg Anderson takes the mark, kicks back to half forward. Oh, Thompson over the top. There's, they haven't had one bad player in defence today, isn't it? I don't think they've had a bad player full stop. Towards Alessio. Was in front, couldn't take the mark. Simons, O'Donnell, along on the end. Now watch this clever kick. It was too clever. As he bent it back, but he boomeranged it too far. It was one behind. Put too much bias. Otherwise known as a check side. Correct. Tony Modra with a smile on his face. He's been a little frustrated today. Restricted by a very disciplined performance by young Dustin Fletcher. Two marks, two kicks and four hand passes for Fletcher. There's a good effort by Smart. He marks and it centre-half back. behind. 
Well, fouls. that's the old-fashioned defence, isn't it? Crows will get away from half-back. It's Scott Lee kicking towards the centre of the ground. Mark taken by Ooh. Nick Zack. Play on. Play on. No, 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 no. no. The yeah, idea right. was there. No, he didn't actually play on. But he was trying to. Anderson kicked <laughs> towards half or Jarman. Marks over the top of Oller and Shaw. Six kicks and 13 hand passes for Andrew Jarman. In a quiet performance, I suppose, Sandy, that the Crows attempt to play him even if he's 90% fit because he's such a creative player. Shocking kick. Went for the doctor there and out of bounds on the foot. Might sum up his day. That might sum up his day, Sandy. Kick in finds Harvey still inside 50 metres for the Adelaide side right in front of the Great Southern Stand and Harvey kicks it long out towards the wing Somerville in front ball rebounds Grenvold looks for long Maynard over the top Nick and handball Patterson get rid of it quickly Shockey ineffective you'd have to say Grenvold Oller and Shaw his kick in towards the centre of the ground Heard running for it Ben Hart now Denham unselfishly for Simons oops Denham does well Denham kicks a goal 104 plays 58 this is turning into a big win for Essendon they're out of the centre through Somerville again there's still more than 11 minutes remaining to Wanganeen what a possession winner he's been. This is the centre break, Sandy. 17 in favour of Essendon. 7 to the Crows. Heard to pull forward. Mickett. There's a couple of hand passes. Rashido gets a bad bounce. Simon's close to the boundary line. Rashido backs up again. Kicks to the other pocket. And Tregenza sees it over with Ricky Oller and Shaw. We've got Red now up in the forward lines. Forward pocket. Is there such a big Adelaide, but there's Mickham on the ball. Such a big difference over in Adelaide. Their performance uh, performances in Melbourne don't seem to be anywhere near as good, do they? No, uh, it's the one thing they've got to come to terms with, and that's being able to win consistently away from Footy Park. 34,372, incidentally, in attendance here today. Many of them uh, heading for cover fearing rain or oh, Denham almost threw that out but it was gleefully accepted kicked it towards full forward big pack of players gave him Grenbold Simons close to the boundary line and eventually over yes if they could start to put a couple of wins on the board when they're on the road and they really will have arrived the Crows Sure, that's their major concern at the moment to get that consistency oh, when they're alive. Tackle, yeah, well, done. what a tackle! How yeah, was it? Wow, run him over. Just no chance. He's just been sensational, Wanganeen. 24 kicks and four hand passes. Giving a go. He's back into that form that he showed at the start of the year. Yeah, I wonder yeah, whether he may have been carrying an injury. Gets underneath that a little. Into full forward. Oh, oh what a mark by Nigel Smack. Well, that is a smidgen of sons and daughters there. And he's going to get 50. What a day Smidgen of acting. Sorry? Acting. Oh, wow. Very Great subtle. mark, though. Very subtle, Sandy. 50 metres and he's down to half back. Kicks to half forward. Rowe almost threw it out to Jarman, who accepted it. O'Donnell coming off and Kicket coming off. Groom loses it to Watson. Clever kick. Long. I've never seen a player who could change direction so easily. To her. Fist it away from him. McDermott to tidy up for the Crows. Heard shepherded out of it. Actually, was he shepherded out of being held by Hart behind play? Well, they're still going. Frustration because Hart had hold of Heard and would not allow him to the ball. He was being held. And shepherded. Long again. Play continues just as well. 
into half forward, smart again the fly but he couldn't take the mark Simons gets it off towards Buick he might have kick it in the square went for home himself and just missed thought he was Andy Linegar there the guy who got that goal Correct. for Arsenal yes before that extra so. time just about finished oh, terrific performance by Arsenal to win both of those championships bamboozled, bamboozled Dom Chris McDermott now kicks the ball back for Adelaide in towards the centre of the ground Lip tack leaves it behind Masidi back on the ground Harvey Alessio arrogantly oh goal green goal shot for goal and he's oh, touched on the line by Rusciuto well done by the youngster Wiedemann on for Adelaide and Groom off we'll have another look now at Mark Rusciuto just making a real good leap there and that's good to see with seven and a half minutes left I think they are quite aware that to win the game is going to be impossible so just make sure that we see the game right out kick in by Ben Hart rebounds Grenville Olerenshaw kicks the goal 111 plays 58 back in the middle once again Alessio working hard at the bottom it does get it out it's shoveled down towards Simons who rides the bump then sneaks it to Long that's exciting football from 45 metres a floating kick finishes with Nigel Smart to the outer side for Genza now McGuinness 16-15 plays 9-4 Guinness's kick drops short but it finds Rowe who's been busy since coming onto the ground 22 possessions and kicked a couple of vital goals earlier in the day but immaterial now Thompson the skipper just steadies things down knowing that his side has picked up four valuable premiership points or are going to at least Mercury licks his chops as he runs his full distance Buick tries to do the work from behind, but it's not good enough. Rashido takes the mark. It's a little bit of a how-do-you-do going on behind play, but one might suggest perhaps they look at the scoreboard. McDermott goes on with the job. Lee to half forward. Wren, Jarman, left foot chip to half forward. No one at home. Palmer Thompson takes the easy mark. One wonders who Andrew Jarman was looking for there. Gee, Esmond have got... Uh, players all over the ground running Simons is quite a talented young player he's looking for Tim Watson to run past but Tim I think thought better at this stage of the game <laughs> maybe age was a <laughs> needs a little bit more work but uh, I tell you what he's going to be some value Wiedemann oh, oh, no. oh, oh don't mind that oh. Wait, but the the way goes loose. kick towards forward pocket lip tack Hooks the kick to the front of the square. Ball rebounds. Here's Dwangenu. Under control. Kick a little too far for Olerenshaw. Jarman through his legs. Wiedemann. You're gone. You will be penalised. No, you won't. Well, why not? Isn't that the same as trying to barge through a pack that we saw earlier today? Well, that's what I think. But, uh, well, maybe the umpire's just going... Uh, a little bit soft on that. Wiedemann certainly retarded by the two Essendon players. Maynard. Rowe again. Kick smothered by Long. Maynard. Anderson. Just gets his foot to it. It's within 50 metres. Out comes Lip Tack. Too severe on Mercedes. Mercedi will take the free kick for Essendon. Joe Mercedi, who went to the bench at three-quarter time. Now possession number 29. Kick wide towards the wing. Anthony Danaher does very well. Keeps it in the field of play. And goes long. Up towards the 50 metre line, but a good mark taken by Wren. And gee, made that look easy. He's just plucked it, didn't he? Maynard. McDermott. Over the square. Up to half forward. Harvey in from the side. So too, Micken. Ladder almost claimed it. Now underneath that, that pack is Matthew Lipkamp. interesting that in a column during the week in the paper there was a mention of the different footballs that were used in the game last week in Adelaide and uh, the Sharon was kicked by North Melbourne for most of their goals 
and the other football was kicked by Adelaide for most of their goals in the respective quarters. Rove and Micken down towards full forward, Fletcher and Modra. Ooh! Modra went off the ground. Tregenza still inside 50. The Crows are charged. He's on the outer side. Pulls it back in towards full forward. Harvey is there. Somerville is there. And it's hammered over the line by one by. They're pretty miserly in defence, Essendon. Came off. In fact, Adelaide has added just two points this quarter. Kick in, finds Oller and Shaw. He's kicked one goal, hand pass for McCurry. His kick wide has been marked by Lee. Just under three minutes left, Scott Lee kicks it forward. Tregenza, 20th kick for Simon Tregenza. No one home for Adelaide, Anthony Danaher takes a good safe mark and left half back. Gives away a little bit of ground but goes for Wanganeen, in turn for Harvey. And it's amazing the statistics of the some of the Essendon defenders. Harvey with 22 and 8. Thompson with uh, some good statistics. Wanganeen 27 and 4. Thompson's 23 and 6. Here's Denham going through the centre, up towards half forward. Wren looking a little tired. Scott Lee still working very, very hard. So is Smart. They've been both good defenders for the Adelaide Crows. Smart kick up towards centre-half forward, but a good mark taken by some of them at centre-half back for Eskimo. Goes wide. McCurry. Kick it. Made the hand pass beautifully. Lovely to watch. Gets into the open spaces on the outer side of the MCG. And uh, Dave Brenvold sees it over the line. Chris McDermott. Well, it's the first time the players have struck uh, heavy conditions this year. Yes. The players just looking a little weary on it. Michael Long. Aggressive in his attack on the ball. And Wren and McDermott. Speaking of McDermott. Almost hold up. He stands his ground and gets his kick. Liptak takes it on centre wing. Off to Jarman, who lopes over the centre. He'll enjoy a bit of a spell, I think, this week. Patterson, late inclusion. Nice hand pass to Wiedemann. The wild man pulls it round his body and towards full forward. Off hands it comes and it's wanging in again. A grand little defender and a grand footballer. The half-back, good interception by Tregenza. Because his tackle was Oller and Shaw. Short. Watson! Not paid. That would have taken the wind out of his sails. Tregenza. Still 70 metres out. This time goes short. And he finds Micken. Closing minute of the game. Watson will be keen to hear the siren after being slightly winded there. Somerville couldn't take it. They just about stopped to a walk. But who can blame them? Masidi. Spent time on the bench. Pickens going to have another go. And he gives the hand pass to Smart. Who from outside 50 lets one go. And that's a mighty kick. What a goal. It was a big goal. We had one here last night. By Roberts. The torpedo punt. And if you get onto them, they certainly do travel. As many more players don't use them when kicking a goal from a long distance out. No, just a one kick and holding it across the body and off it sails. A magnificent kick by Smart. Playing on that 50 metre line. Started down back. Now playing up forward. Well, fortunately for you, Dom, there's only a few seconds left. Your voice looks as though it may just last the game. <laughs> There's the siren. And Essendon win the game. In the finish, quite convincingly, a 46-point margin. 16-15, 10-5. Gary O'Donnell on the boundary line with Max Stevens. Well, Gary, you really took the zoom out of Adelaide today. Oh, well, we... Uh 
uh, it was important to start well, and we got a good start, and uh, they were playing catch-up footy the whole day, and you know, they only had the, the six-day rest, so it was important for us to get, get a good start and sort of put the pressure on them early. How much emphasis did Kevin put on the game coming into it during the week? Well, Adelaide's a finals contender, we just got to be, keep beating finals contenders, so uh, you know, we just knock one off today, and uh, I think it's Fitzroy next week, we gun for them again, so you know, we just got to beat the sides that are, you know, are vying with us to get in the game in the finals. Well, in Adelaide, they say Tony Mike was a superstar, but uh, the youngster on him today, Fletcher, did an excellent job. He was excellent, yeah. Didn't really uh, maybe suit Modra, a bit wet, a bit moist, but uh, Dustin was on him like a blanket all day, and perhaps the guys upfield helped Dustin as well. It was a real, really good team effort. A little quiet in the third quarter, but that last quarter, particularly Buick, I mean, he did so much damage for you and just uh, got things rolling. Yeah, he sort of had a, just an average game, and uh, that's, it's important for guys to just to keep concentrating and... Uh, you know, the ball will start bouncing their way and those three goals are valuable for us. OK, mate, congratulations today. Thanks for talking with us, Max. Thank you. Thank you, Max. And if you could make the check cash to Ian Robertson, he'd appreciate that. <laughs> Final scoreline here at the MCG, Max. Esther to 16-15, 111. Adelaide, 10-5, 65. Darren Buick was the main scorer for the Bombers in their big win over Adelaide. The final scoreline, Essendon 16-15, 111, Adelaide 10-5-65. In fact, the Crows managing just one goal, two in the last quarter, when many thought that they may just steam home, as they have been able to do, particularly last week. Nevertheless, it was a fine performance by the Baby Bombers, and doing it with me today was, well, Australia's answer to Tom Waits and Robbo. What did you think, Don? Can the Bombers, you think, threaten the six this year? I think anybody can threaten the six because it's such an even game and um, teams will knock one another off. And, uh, it, well, it's, this is what it's all about. The, the top couple, that I think, will get there, but the others, it's up for grabs. Isn't it? Yeah, I don't have any doubt about that. But I've been impressed with Essendon. I'm nearly the uh, resident Essendon commentator, Sandy. They've played, I think, nine games. I've seen them eight times. Right. And I'm very impressed with their young brigade. You know, like guys like Wanganee. Don was very impressed with James Hurd, Mercedi. Uh, even Alessio, Oller and Shaw McCurry, haven't they got some good young players blended with lot guys like Harvey, Mark Thompson, Gary O'Donnell and I think that they've got uh, plenty to look forward to for the rest of the year, Essendon. And statistically, well, Adelaide figure fairly well in the statistics, but a lot of their, well, actually there's a case in point, a lot of their handballs are of no value at all. They cover five, you know, five metres, two metres, That's they just get rid of it and they're really not productive. And it's to play a standing still, isn't it? Well, that's and right. The pass has got to, to get go out of someone trouble. streaming down the ground well, they, to be they, of an advantage. seem to get out of trouble with it instead of creating, but uh, I mentioned through the call about the centre breaks, and have a look at it again. That's 19-7 to 7 in favour of Essendon. They did particularly well, Essendon. Modra uh, was well held by Dustin Fletcher, and uh, just looking at statistics, I think that's a terrific example of a player who sacrifices the possessions. Well, why should you look for possessions yeah. when a guy does the job like Dustin Fletcher? No, he's kicked three goals, uh, Fletcher, but the other point when the other statistic we don't get is how many punches behind. I mean, he was absolutely frustrated, and that's Modra's strength, is the marking side of his game, well, not made, the ground made up, made up by guys like Wanganeen who, who just got back and helped out. Every time Fletcher brought the ball to the ground, Wanganeen mopped up just quite magnificently. Now, McGuinness was picked up by um, Denham. Denham and uh, look at that McGuinness, he never stops trying does he, 36 possessions, that's just fantastic. I think this is a great example of where all of your attacks start, Harvey gets the ball across half back and full back and sets it up, 23 and 8, he was a very efficient player all day and he has been for the whole year so far. And there's a solid performance, he's, he's very solid week in week out this man, plays in the back pocket but does come up the ground and uh, I'm a rap for Scott Lee. Have a spell Donnie, in fact we'll all take a break back with more shortly. <laughs> 